Today, the hotel has 339 rooms, 2.6 million square feet, houses 486 luxury residential condominiums. The Trump sign on the front of the building is 20 feet tall. The penthouse sold for $20 million in 2022, and the cost to build it was $847 million. It has 27 different elevators. What in the world? Happy New Year. Focus. Happy New Year. I hope you guys had an amazing 2023. We're in 2024 now. 2024, that means more edits. And today we're looking at an edit that was suggested by a comment on a recent video I posted of breaking the whole Trump hotel video down that was posted on Benny Johnson's channel. If you want to see that, I got a little ding right here. And, but it's the new year's 2024. And I'm excited to bring way more content for you guys about edit editing and just cool stuff like that. And you know, we got the candle, got the candle ready. We got a Topo Chico sparkling water. That's good. And we got the sweater on because it's a colder day over here in Florida, which is very rare. So you got to bust these out whenever you uh, can. Anyway, besides that, let's go ahead and get straight into the effect. I'm pretty much just going to look, watch this, look over it, dissect it, and show you how it was created and all the effects and everything that was on it. So without further ado, you can go ahead and sit back and see how this effect was made. Let's get straight into it. All right, so you saw the whole thing at the beginning of this video, so I don't have to rewatch it here, but we're gonna start from the transition into the outline of the building. Today, the hotel has three. So, pretty much what happened here is we've got some compound clips right here. And if you go inside of the compound clip, you've got this, which is, this is an effect from Motion VFX called M, M Blueprint. And pretty much there are other plugins you can get for the outline look but this was included in this whenever I got it. So I went ahead and used it down to overlay effects. If we go to the outline effects, it is used as a layer, adjustment layer. And so it goes on top of whatever uh, clip you want it to. And so, let me move that. And so I put, drag that over. And now for this, Start starting clip. I used only this that isn't outlined. So pretty much this section that doesn't have these lines like that is the compound clip that's being shown on the timeline. And so I used that. Day. And then I added a fade cross dissolve into the outlined version, right? And I had froze it. If you click Command R, you can see at the at this specific point, I had froze the clip. So when it did transition, it was seamless, right? Because so it stops and then it fades straight into that. Now. Here, you gotta have that motion blur. You know what I'm saying? Because if you got, if you don't got motion blur, hotel, it just looks, it looks choppy and weird. So I had actually, let me cancel out so you don't have to hear, and it's not annoying. So I had motion blur on top of this, 
but I had doubled the layer. This is still the same compound clip, just doubled. So this clip right here, the building is masked out. So that means that all of these around here are, let me move that, all of these around here are masked, right? So the building's masked out. So if I get rid of this clip up top, it's only the building because of this clip at the bottom, but I'll explain that in a second. And then I added add motion, which is from FX factory. This is from FX factory add motion. I use it all the time. And if you're looking for something to, to give you really smooth movement, I definitely do recommend using this. And so I added add motion to make it go down, right? I'm gonna move this bottom. So it goes down and then it's on expo, which means it starts slower and it ends slower as well. So it's kind of like a, let me see if I can demonstrate. This is expo, so it starts here, slow and then towards the middle it goes quick and then it slower at the end i don't know if that made any sense but i hope it did so i added that and so i made it really quick and so you can see here it's a little bit slower it goes like that like those sound effects. You could probably guess what's next on this clip below here. It's the building cut out. So, because that stays there. And so that goes leaves and then we're on to another cut clip. And I changed the motion right here. It says linear, uh, uh, starting off, which means it's just a smooth instead of a I know sound effects are excellent. <sighs> so it's on linear, it's not expo, but pretty much what this motion add motion is doing is it's moving it from that initial position to fill in the background here and the background blueprint is also from m blueprint architectural blueprint is what i used here as you can see and there's you can change the color you can change the texture and then uh Uh, you can remove the frame if you wanted, add the frame, stuff like that. Also, adding to the background, I have two other effects that are from the same plugin. I added contrast, makes it a little bit more brighter. And then there's a sunlight plugin, which you can add. There's, there's different types of sunlight if you want to add it. So one glass, two, I went ahead and just went with that. And it has build where it can fade in as well. And I added these, let me get rid of this. And then let me shrink this. So it's easier to, to see There's so much stuff here. And then I also have an adjustment layer over all of this that is zoomed in, you can make it to where it holds on certain positions with add motion. And so I have it to where it's, it's zoomed in because initially that's what it looks like. So I have it where it filled in the whole screen. So it looks good with the clip before because for this specific clip, it's zoomed out like that. And so without, right. It fades in, but I have it zoomed in and then I cut the adjustment layer 
and made it to where you can really see the motion I added to this to zoom in. And then on the adjustment layer, I had it zoom out pretty much while this filled the border right here, right here, the little line here. So it fills in the border. And then again, this specific text, uh, not the font, but the text line animation, you can find it. You can find it right here. Um, and it just shows the line being drawn, right? And then initially, that's what the writing looks like, but I wanted to make it a little bit less cursive. One, so it's easier because it's moving quick, so you want to be able to read it. And I want it to look like more of a, just a quick, you know, write down, uh, handwritten. And so that's why I changed the font. So we're getting to here. And we got some more movement. So I got the text showing up right here. I adjusted it. You can adjust whichever spot you want it to be let me show this so for instance if i wanted the outline to be over here it'll be over there so there's a lot of customizing you can do with this title which is sweet because i was able to move stuff around i got a adjustment layer another one with some motion blur obviously that zooms in to the text and this layer up here has the which is above everything has the handheld effect which i had gotten from dylan bates on youtube you can look him up he has his own plugin where you can customize different uh, handheld effects and he has different presets as well or you can make your own custom one and so I have it on zoom to fit he does have repeat and then none but none shows black and then repeat on the edges you can kind of notice so I just kept it as zoom to fit now, the problem here that I face, which happens sometimes, is since it's on zoom to fit, it zooms, right? And so the transition into when I wanted it, because right here, it's not handheld. It's smooth, steady. And then whenever it actually zooms in closer, I have it to where the handheld starts. Because whenever you're trying to focus on something that's handheld, in a sense, you got that movement. And that's why I wanted to show, make it look like. But whenever it zooms in, I got it to where mid-zoom in, during the motion blur, I turn on the handheld and added that adjustment layer. So it's pretty much seamless with the movement. So you don't have that issue of it just cutting forward and zooming in, right? You can barely even tell, right? It zooms in with the movement. And so again, without the without any of these adjustment layers, this is what it looks like. Everything's popping up, going through. With the adjustment layers, the camera's moving around. And how, with this specific plugin, how I achieved that is I would cut the adjustment layer that's over the whole thing, and you'd change this to B to A instead of A to B, and then you would change the A position 
to the second place you want the camera to move to. And then with motion blur, you've got that quick movement. And the reason why you want to change it to B and A is because if this is the A to B, and then you change this to B and A, it starts at the position the other one ends. And then you just keep on repeating that throughout the movements. So B to A, and then this is A to B, starts at the ending position, and then moves over to the second area. Same text, adjusted a little bit, the line, all that kind of stuff. Same thing here. This is B to A, moves down. And now this Trump sign, I had gotten, let's see if I can find it. So this right here is, let me turn this off. This is a picture I downloaded of the Trump sign, but I added an outline. Uh, so that's what, this is what the original photo looks like. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, go back. This is what the original photo looks like that I had gotten. Right? Right here. So I had added, added the outline and then a mask to cut it out. Next, movement, same process. And then again, whenever the movement is zooming out and I don't want it to be look handheld, I cut it off mid movement because as you'd guess, if I turn it off, it jumps back because this is zoomed to fit. So wherever it's the camera's moving out with the blur, I cut it. And again, seamless because it moves out and you don't even notice. And then I have pro burns right here, which pretty much just adds a slow zoom out. This is also from Dylan Bates. Very simple to mess with. You can change the all of this constant for constant movement. And then I have it in reverse because initially it's zooming in. I have to wear at the end here, it's zooming out slowly. And then the last text pops up with that. And that's pretty much a, compared to how long it took to make it, a quick explanation of all the effects and everything that was used to create this. Last thing, this circle right here, I almost forgot about this. The circle right here I had downloaded from Envato Elements, I believe. I just looked up, you know, drawn circle, something like that. So that's how I got this. There was other versions of it, but I went ahead and went with this one. And that's how the effect was made. Now, the sound effects is a whole different story. I kind of went in detail on the last video that I did about this, uh, but I'll, I'll go over this quickly. If I just select the, whoa, 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 go back, go back, zoom out. Where am I at? Okay, there. All of this was downloaded. I've had these sound effects for so long. I almost forgot where I downloaded it from, but you can get stuff similar to this a lot of places. Envato Elements, Artlist, any other music, website, stuff like that. You can most of the time find sound effects similar, very close to this. So I have a riser whenever it's fading, right? And then I have a whoosh that is stacked on top of each other here to give it more depth. 
Let me actually show the wave. The wave, the wave, the wave. Let me show just the... Just this. So... Let me remove this too. So these are stacked on top of each other, and then I got another one, whoosh, that wherever the movement is happening, I put it over that. Again, I have like a, a pencil drawing, wherever that pops up, a whoosh in, a scribble sound effect before you even see the other writing, just to kind of put in your mind, the viewer's mind, that you're about to see something else and you don't even notice that you're thinking that, but because that sound effects there, you know, you're about to see other stuff, other writing. So it moves down, whoosh, another scribble, whoosh again. Right. And music is obviously over all of this. Another whoosh drawing. Another scribble sound effect with the drawing. And then lastly, to like the circles being drawn in. And then the last draw. Now, a little tip here that you can do if you reuse the same sound effect, but you don't want to make it sound like you're reusing it the exact same thing is I could probably find it on one of these clips, just changing the pitch or the speed of the sound effect can make it is a very subtle way to make it sound a little bit different, but not too different. So you just mess with the pitch. You can bring it up, bring it down. Uh, so for instance, this little drawing, sound if I want it to be a little bit different than what I've used before right it sounds slightly different but the same sound effect or I can make it really low <laughs> no not that low right or if you want to bring up the pitch a little bit and you pretty much just got to mess with it, see what sounds right. And then you can change the speed. I have the speed a little bit longer just to kind of match up with the movement of the actual drawing. Uh, and then also make sure it's not preserving the pitch. Otherwise, that's where you get the weird, like, I don't even know how to explain it. It lowers the pitch whenever it's slowed down instead of it being that weird. Let me just show you. If it's really slowed down, you can notice. Right, it's like a weird echoey sound. But if you preserve the pitch or turn that off, that makes it to where whenever you slow it down, it sounds slow-mo, right? There are different moments where you can use preserve the pitch and that's a little bit better. Uh, but in this case, doing that uh, is better here. And so that works. And so I did use reuse some of these sound effects, but I changed the pitch, changed the speed a little bit to make it a little bit different than previous versions of the sound effect. And that's a little tip for you if you ever run into that issue and you don't want to go and keep on looking for a bunch of different stuff or if you can't find anything exactly like what you're looking for uh, you can just switch it up a little bit like this and that's the whole effect here I hope I got everything I believe I did and then obviously the 339 rooms 2.6 million Video square feet music is houses over the 486 luxury effect. residential condominiums the trump sign of and if we listen to this without 
Woo, 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 woo. Oh my goodness. If we listen to this without the voiceover and just the sound effects and music, this is what it looks like. That's it for this whole effect. I hope you learned something, something that you can use in your own creative ideas and have for inspiration on your projects that you make. And yeah, little tips and stuff to help you out. And I hope you enjoyed. Let me go ahead and... Uh, whoa. That will be the end of this video. And... Happy New Year. I will see you at the next edit.